mind you, who is modeling for them? Who were they observing while growing up? And so the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And that does not mean your children will turn out to be exactly how you raise them. I, for, in, for instance, do not believe in no way, shape, or form that I am exactly how I was raised because I have always been attracted to spirituality. Do you hear me? From my beginnings, I have always been attracted to spirituality. And it's not because it was modeled in front of me. It's not because I was watching a talk show and there was a famous talk show host that I was modeling from. It's not because of a book I read. It's not because of the private school I was going to as it was a religious one. Not a spiritual one, but a religious one. But God calls who he wants to call. And he gives you the makeup that he wants to give you. And he puts you in the family that he puts you in order for you to learn certain ways of maneuvering that will assist you when you immerse yourself into your calling. And although I am not in the mindset of throwing religion in every direction that I go. I can't deny the foundation has affected me, has nurtured me, has put discipline in me. And this truth, this moment of truth just exemplifies That it doesn't matter how far you go in life. Don't be an ingrate. I said, don't be an ingrate. You know how people say it's not a good look? Yeah, it's not a good look. If you don't do this, it's not a good look if you don't participate here. If you, it's not a good look if you don't have this connection. But you know what's even worse? When it's not a good look in God's eyes. Don't bite, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Don't bite the hand that feeds you.
that deserved a moment of silence. And with that, I will read to you the next message that was just sent to us. And it is, you are being encouraged by your angels to trust in the messages and soul-based information coming to you at this time. I love how how the 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 messages and the flow of things just connect in such a way that I can't deny that God is here. I can't deny that God is here. The next message we're being sent is your angels are opening the doors to new beginnings and opportunities for you. Embrace change. Embrace change. One more time. With a smile. And the presence of joy. Embrace change. The change that's coming. Is with more information. Information is available to those that make themselves available for it. The reason why it is so important for you to keep an open channel with God, for you to get Direct communication from him is because you don't want to be led astray. You don't want to be hoodwinked. You don't want to be played. You don't want to be taken for a fool. Right? Right? And so even in a season where you may be experiencing some fog and you just don't understand and you feel like you're being pulled in different directions, And you was raised a certain way, but you feel another way. See? That's when you need to increase your prayer life. Your prayer life consists of you 
making your requests. I need direct communication. I need you to give me clear communication. I need you to protect my intuition. I need you to not allow any interference. Stressing, stressing, stressing. Let me rewind that. I need you to not allow any interference with the messages that you are sending my way. Why is that stress? It's stressed because there are agents of the dark. That come with whispers to your ear. I said, there are agents of the dark that come with whispers to your ears. Notice I said whispers. They say it in whispers. Because they know it's underhanded. They say it in whispers because they know it's a lie. They say it in whispers because it is an entrapment. And you. Who do not have. A clear channel. To receive what God has in store is led astray. Do you understand? And this is why even though You may feel as if you're so high. (laughs) You're so high all the way to the sky. And you can pay. Because you don't want to pray. So you can pay somebody to be your messenger. How do you know? (laughs) How do you know? You see, even in connecting with the messenger, even in connecting with a prophet, a spiritual teacher, a guide, whatever you call it, You must pray and ask God Are you speaking through that person? You must not only pray and ask God Are you speaking through that person? You must pray and wait Did you hear what I'm saying? Wait. For your response. And I say that in love. I don't say it. For my benefit. I say it in truth. You must Wait until God says yes. 